after Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. Chapter. I'm going to tell you a story about a bee. After a long day at work, the busy bees return home. Here they come! Incoming! They have a very pleasant life. They work in harmony, flying from flower to flower, gathering nectar. Then they bring it back to their hive, where it's transformed into delicious honey. How did it go? Pretty good. Look. What do you think? How's that? Look at mine. Another full bucket. Again today, you're the champ of the hive. Congratulations. Sure, she's great, but she doesn't do it all by herself. Yeah, we do our part as well. Stop wasting time and find something to do. Work is character building. Here I come. What do you think? It's excellent. A terrific harvest. <gasps> As usual, you're number one. Thank you. Telling me what you do with all the honey you collect. Pray tell, I'm all ears. The other bees and I survive on it. 
What? To me, that sounds like stupidity. <laughs> Are you saying that you work day and night without a break, all for the sake of the others in the hive? Look at me. I do what I want. I play when I want to play. I eat when I want to eat. And when I decide I'm tired, I understand how it works? <laughs> in the hive, it's not like that. If you were on your own, you could live like I do. Are you saying that you work day and night without a break, all for the sake of the others in the hive? Look at me. I do what I want. I play when I want to play. I eat when I want to eat. And when I decide I'm tired, I understand how it works? <laughs> if you were on your own, you could live like I do. You know how precious honey is for us. Go back and recover the moth. I've got to admit, the hornet is not all wrong. You fill your bucket to the top like you were told to do. That's easy for you to say, Sentry. Why don't you go out in the hot sun? Why are you talking to me like that? Because I'm tired of working for everyone else. How did it go? Wait a minute. Why did you gather so little today? Do you have any idea how much effort I put out today? Come on, Ron, Ron, I only asked you what happened. I spilled my honey, so I had to go back and gather some more. You know the rules. You have to come back with a certain amount. I get it. All you want to do is exploit me without mercy. They order me around all day long just because they're in a position of power and they have weapons. All they do is stay home and relax. All I do is work, work, work. I'm not gonna take it anymore. Oh, no. More. More. Uh, what's going on? Something. Do you always work together? Why? Why? Don't, Don't you bees work together? This is our way of living in harmony. Uh, I just wanted to know. Have a nice day. <gasps> oh, no, not again. Gee, look at that. What now? I'm a fly, can't you see? You wasted some good honey down here. You're eating. It. Of course. You think I'm stupid? I'm eating it to make you feel better. Your work has to be of some value, you know. That honey is mine! But you spilled it all over the ground, my friend. It was an accident. Maybe it is for you, but it sure isn't for me. <laughs> we flies thrive on your mistakes. <laughs> hey! Leave that honey alone! Leave that honey alone! Get out of here! Uh, another day that didn't go so well. What happened to you? You return with your bucket half empty every day now. Do you think going out and gathering honey is easy like standing guard in the cool shade? What? If you think our work's easy, you're mistaken. Yeah? Well, you certainly can't say you're over fatigued. You're becoming impossible. You think you're the only one who works? Remember, in the hive, everybody has a job to do. You guards, you guards are not indispensable. That's enough. I'm tired of your attitude. Go fill your bucket, understand? Otherwise, you won't let me in, is that right? I've done it until today only because I've had a great sense of duty. Now I'm going to leave. Forever. Wait. What's going on? Oh, it's you. A little worker bee that suddenly wakes me up at dusk. You're not telling me that they make you work even at night, eh? <laughs> oh, now I understand. You've left the hive, correct? You decided to get out, is that true? You've made the best choice. Believe me, it was time. From now on, you can live as you like, and since we happen to be neighbors, you can share your honey with me. Forget it. I'd never share with anyone as lazy as you. 
This is the thanks I get for all my advice. Get out of here! All right, but I was here first. <gasps> it's morning. I better get to work. What a beautiful thought. All the honey I gather will be just for me. Yes, indeed. The bee is storing her honey for the winter in that hollow tree. She's left it unguarded. What unexpected luck! <laughs> I'm coming, honey. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Who goes there? I'm just a fly. I wanted a little honey. And we have work to do before the bee returns. <gasps> What's going on? Who stole all my honey? What's wrong with you? I, I, I was dreaming. Dreaming, eh? Hmm, and just what about? I was dreaming about eating the honey because it's been a long time since I had a belly full like that. You're not wrong. In fact, I agree 100%. After that nap, I'm beginning to feel hungry all over again. Let's go and eat some more honey. Yes, <laughs> but let's be careful not to get caught. Come on, hurry up. Wait. What if the bee's inside? We should proceed with extreme caution. You think she's lazy like you? At this hour, bees are working gathering honey to store for the winter. Then let's go. Hmm. Now I see who the thieves are. What? Get out of here, you dirty thieves! Leave my honey alone! There's only a little left. It'll never be enough to make it through the winter, and most likely they'll go on stealing my honey. this honey I can't go and gather anymore now I understand how important guards really are what can I do we're close to fall and in a little while there'll be no more flowers soon I won't have anything left to eat and I'll just get weaker and weaker Oh, 
nature's on its way. All the flowers will be dying soon. I better get to work right away. I hope it's not too late to gather the honey I need for the winter. Oh, I feel so weak. I hope they didn't steal the little I have left. Oh! How were they able to get in, those thieves? This is how they did it. Ah, oh, today you won't get away with it that easy. Here I am, you uh, dirty uh, thieves. Uh, Come on, make my day. <laughs> Catch it if you can. I don't want to offend you, but you don't seem much of a fighter. We'll see. Why don't you just stop chasing us? Give up! I'm a little weak because I haven't eaten, but I'll get you. You'll see. Us alone! Sound the alarm! Sound the alarm! Oh, the bees are coming! Let's get out of here! They're all around us! collaboration. It's the only way.
the bee. How is the bee classified in the animal kingdom? The bee is an insect belonging to the Hymenoptera order and to the Apidae family. It has a pyramidal head and a generally furry body. The abdomen ends in a short stinger. How many species are there and where do they live? Bees are now found all over the world. The common honey bee belongs to the Apis mellifera species and probably has its roots in Southeast Asia. How do they live? Bees live in colonies consisting of a fertile female or queen bee, several males or drones, and sterile females or worker bees. Bees build themselves complex nests known as honeycombs. Each colony contains more than 50,000 bees. How do they move? Bees often fly great distances, generally using the position of the sun as a navigation aid. A worker returning to the nest uses a dance to tell its neighbors where food is. What do they eat? The bee's staple diet is pollen and nectar, which is transformed into honey. The queen bee and larvae cannot feed themselves and are raised by the worker bees. How do they protect themselves? The sting is the bee's only means of self-defense and is used to keep intruders away from the nest. How do they relate to people? Bees have been raised for their honey and wax for over 4,000 years. They are also indispensable for the pollination of a large number of cultivated plants. Can they live in the city? Yes, as long as they have an adequate source of food. Well, have you all learned the lesson? The moral of the story is that we must all learn to live together, work together, and respect each other. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! <laughs>